Rumiko Takahashi is a legendary figure in the world of manga and anime, with a career spanning over four decades. Her unique storytelling, memorable characters, and ability to seamlessly blend genres have made her one of the most influential and beloved creators in the industry. Takahashi's works have not only captivated audiences in Japan, but have also gained a massive following worldwide, transcending cultural barriers and inspiring generations of fans and artists alike. Takahashi's impact on the manga and anime landscape is immeasurable. Her series have consistently topped charts, sold millions of copies, and been adapted into numerous anime, live action dramas, and films. Her success has paved the way for female manga artists in a predominantly male-dominated industry, proving that women can create compelling, long-running series that resonate with a wide audience. Takahashi's influence can be seen in the works of countless creators who have followed in her footsteps, making her a true pioneer and role model. Among Takahashi's most famous and enduring works are Urusei Yatsura, Ranma One Half, and Inuyasha. Urusei Yatsura, a sci-fi romantic comedy, was her first major hit and established her as a rising star in the manga world. Ranma One Half, a martial arts comedy with gender-bending elements, further solidified her reputation and gained a dedicated fan base. Inuyasha, a historical fantasy adventure, showcased Takahashi's ability to create epic narratives and became a global phenomenon. These series, along with her other notable works, have left an indelible mark on the medium and continued to be celebrated by fans old and new. Rumiko Takahashi was born on October 10, 1957, in Niigata, a coastal city in central Japan. Growing up in a middle-class family, Takahashi showed an early interest in storytelling and drawing. As a child, she was exposed to various manga and anime series, which would later influence her own creative style. Takahashi's father, a veteran of World War II, and her mother, a homemaker, encouraged her artistic pursuits and provided a supportive environment for her to explore her passion. Takahashi attended Niigata Chuo High School where she further developed her artistic skills and began to contemplate a career in the manga industry. During her high school years, she spent countless hours honing her craft, creating short stories and illustrations that would lay the foundation for her future works. Takahashi's teachers and classmates recognized her talent, and she was often praised for her creativity and unique perspective. After graduating from high school, Takahashi enrolled at Japan Women's University in Tokyo, where she studied literature. While her academic focus was on the written word, Takahashi never lost sight of her dream to become a professional manga artist. She continued to draw and create stories in her spare time, balancing her studies with her artistic pursuits. Takahashi's university years were a period of growth and self discovery as she refined her skills and developed the work ethic that would serve her well throughout her career. It was during this time that she began to submit her works to various manga competitions and publishers, setting the stage for her breakthrough into the industry. Rumiko Takahashi made her professional debut in 1978 with the one-shot manga Kate na Yatsura, Those Selfish Aliens, in Shogakukan's weekly shonen Sunday magazine. This sci-fi comedy story, which featured alien characters and a high school setting, introduced readers to Takahashi's distinctive art style and humorous storytelling. Kate na Yatsura was well-received by audiences and marked the beginning of Takahashi's journey as a professional manga artist. Following her debut, Takahashi continued to create short stories and one-shots for various manga magazines. In 1979, she submitted her work, Strangers, to a contest held by Weekly Shonen Sunday. The story, which revolves around a young girl and her encounters with supernatural beings, showcased Takahashi's ability to blend elements of humor, horror, and romance. Strangers caught the attention of the judges and earned Takahashi the prestigious New Comic Artist Award.
cementing her status as a rising star in the manga industry. Winning the New Comic Artist Award was a significant milestone in Takahashi's early career. The recognition not only validated her talent, but also opened doors to new opportunities. Publishers and editors began to take notice of her work, and Takahashi found herself with more creative freedom and resources to develop her ideas. This early success gave her the confidence to pursue her vision and experiment with different genres and storytelling techniques. As Takahashi continued to create new stories and characters, she laid the groundwork for the breakthrough series that would define her career and establish her as one of the most influential manga artists of her generation. Rumiko Takahashi's breakthrough series, Urusei Yatsura, began serialization in Weekly Shonen, Sunday in 1978 and ran until 1987. The series, which expanded upon the concepts and characters from her debut one-shot, Kate na Yatsura, follows the misadventures of a lecherous high school student named Ataru Moroboshi and his alien girlfriend, Loom. Urusei Yatsura showcased Takahashi's signature blend of science fiction, comedy, and romance as well as her knack for creating memorable and eccentric characters. The series quickly gained popularity among readers and established Takahashi as a major force in the manga industry. The success of the Urusei Yatsura manga led to the production of an anime adaptation, which aired from 1981 to 1986. The anime, produced by Studio Piero and Studio Dean, brought Takahashi's characters to life and introduced her work to an even wider audience. The anime series faithfully adapted the manga's comedic tone and colorful cast, while also expanding upon the original story with new episodes and character arcs. Urusei Yatsura became a cultural phenomenon in Japan, spawning numerous merchandise, video games, and even live-action adaptations. In addition to the anime series, Urusei Yatsura was adapted into several animated movies, further cementing its status as a beloved franchise. These movies, which were released between 1983 and 1991, provided fans with new adventures featuring their favorite characters and showcased the evolution of Takahashi's art style and storytelling. The success of Urusei Yatsura in both manga and anime formats demonstrated Takahashi's ability to create works that resonated with audiences across different mediums. The series' popularity also paved the way for Takahashi's future works, as fans eagerly anticipated her next creations, which would go on to become classics in their own right. Lesser known is her Mermaid Saga, a dark fantasy series that was serialized in Shogakukan's weekly Shonen Sunday from 1984 to 1994. Unlike her more comedic and lighthearted works, Mermaid Saga explores the darker aspects of mythology and immortality. The series consists of three main arcs, Mermaid's Forest, Mermaid's Scar, and Mermaid's Gaze each telling a self-contained story that contributes to the overall mythology of the series. The central premise revolves around the legend of mermaids, whose flesh is said to grant immortality to those who consume it. However, the series subverts this idea, showing that those who eat mermaid flesh are more likely to die or become monstrous, immortal creatures called lost souls. The main characters of Mermaid Saga are Yuta, an immortal young man who has been alive for 500 years after eating mermaid flesh, and Mana, a girl who becomes entangled in Yuta's quest to find a cure for his immortality. Together they encounter various people and creatures affected by the mermaid's curse, often leading to tragic and horrifying outcomes. Takahashi's storytelling in Mermaid Saga is notable for its atmospheric horror, complex characters, and exploration of the consequences of seeking immortality. While not as well known as her other works, Mermaid Saga showcases Takahashi's versatility as a creator and her ability to tackle darker, more mature themes. The series has been praised for its haunting visuals, intricate mythology, and thought-provoking narrative, 
cementing its status as a unique and compelling entry in Takahashi's body of work. Following the conclusion of Urusei Yatsura, Rumiko Takahashi began her next major series, Ranma One Half, which would become one of her most iconic and influential works. Published in Weekly Shonin Sunday from 1987 to 1996, Ranma One Half is a martial arts comedy with a unique twist. The protagonist, Ranma Sautomi, is a skilled martial artist who transforms into a girl when splashed with cold water and back into a boy with hot water. The series follows Ranma's adventures as he navigates his dual identity, engages in martial arts battles, and deals with a colorful cast of characters, including his fiance Akane Tendo and various rivals and suitors. Ranma One Half showcased Takahashi's talent for creating intricate, fast-paced comedic scenarios and memorable characters. The series' gender-bending premise allowed Takahashi to explore themes of identity, gender roles, and personal growth in a humorous and entertaining way. Ranma One Half was a massive success, spawning an anime adaptation that aired from 1989 to 1992, as well as numerous OVAs, movies, and video games. The series' popularity extends beyond Japan, with a dedicated international fan base that continues to celebrate its clever humor, memorable characters, and iconic moments. After the conclusion of Ranma One Half, Rumiko Takahashi embarked on her next major series, Inuyasha, which marked a departure from her previous works in terms of genre and tone. Published in Weekly Shonen Sunday from 1996 to 2008, Inuyasha is a historical fantasy adventure set in feudal Japan. The series follows the journey of Kagome Higurashi, a modern-day middle school student who is transported to the past, where she meets the half-demon Inuyasha. Together they embark on a quest to collect the shards of the Shikon Jewel, a powerful artifact that grants wishes while battling demons and other supernatural threats. Inuyasha showcased Takahashi's ability to create an epic, sweeping narrative that combined elements of action, romance, and fantasy. The series' unique setting, which blended historical Japan with mythological elements, allowed Takahashi to explore themes of love, loyalty, and personal growth against a backdrop of magic and adventure. Inuyasha was a massive success both in Japan and internationally, and was adapted into an anime series that aired from 2000 to 2004, followed by a sequel series, Inuyasha, The Final Act, which concluded the story in 2010. The success of Inuyasha further cemented Takahashi's status as one of the most versatile and influential manga artists of her generation. The series' epic scope, memorable characters, and thrilling action sequences captivated readers and viewers alike, and its impact can still be felt in the manga and anime industry today. Inuyasha remains a beloved classic, with a dedicated fan base that continues to celebrate its unique blend of history, fantasy, and romance. One of the hallmarks of Rumiko Takahashi's work is her creation of strong, independent female characters who defy traditional gender roles and stereotypes. From Lum in Urusei Yatsura to Akan in Ranma One Half and Kagome in Inuyasha, Takahashi's heroines are complex, multifaceted characters who possess their own agency, desires, and goals. These women are not merely love interests or damsels in distress. They are equal partners in their relationships and often drive the narrative forward through their actions and decisions. Takahashi's emphasis on strong female characters has resonated with readers and viewers, particularly women, who appreciate seeing themselves represented in the positive and empowering way. Another recurring theme in Takahashi's work is gender-bending storylines, which challenge traditional notions of gender identity and expression. This is most notably seen in Ranma One Half, where the protagonist's ability to switch between male and female forms creates a variety of comedic and dramatic situations that explore the fluidity of gender. 
Through these storylines, Takahashi encourages readers to question societal norms and expectations surrounding gender, while also highlighting the importance of accepting and embracing one's true self. Takahashi's gender-bending narratives have been praised for their progressive and inclusive nature, and have inspired countless other creators to explore similar themes in their own works. Takahashi is also known for her ability to seamlessly blend elements of comedy, romance, and action in her stories. Her series often feature a mix of slapstick humor, heartfelt moments, and thrilling battle sequences, creating a dynamic and engaging reading experience. Takahashi's comedic timing is impeccable, with her characters often finding themselves in absurd and hilarious situations that showcase her wit and creativity. At the same time, she never loses sight of the emotional core of her stories, developing romantic relationships and personal growth arcs that keep readers invested in the characters' journeys. The action sequences in Takahashi's works are also notable, with her characters engaging in epic battles that are both visually stunning and narratively satisfying. Finally, Takahashi's distinctive art style and character designs have become iconic in the manga and anime industry. Her characters are instantly recognizable, with their expressive faces, exaggerated features, and bold lines. Takahashi's art style has evolved over the years, becoming more refined and detailed, but has always maintained a sense of energy and dynamism that brings her characters to life on the page. Her character designs are also notable for their diversity and creativity, with each character possessing a unique look and personality that sets them apart from the rest. Takahashi's art has inspired countless other artists, and her influence can be seen in the works of many contemporary manga creators. Despite her immense popularity and success, Rumiko Takahashi is known for being a private person, rarely discussing her personal life in public. She has been married to fellow manga artist Kazuo Koike since 1982, who is best known for his works Lone Wolf and Cub and Crying Freeman. Takahashi and Koike have collaborated on several projects, including the short story collection Rumik Theater. Takahashi has mentioned in interviews that her husband has been a significant source of support and encouragement throughout her career, and that their shared passion for manga has strengthened their relationship. Outside of her work and family life, Takahashi is known to have a few hobbies and interests. She is a fan of professional wrestling and has incorporated wrestling-inspired characters and storylines into some of her works, most notably in Ranma Wananuf. Takahashi is also an avid collector of antiques and has a fascination with ancient civilizations and mythology, which has influenced the historical and fantasy elements in her series such as Inuyasha, Despite her busy schedule and the demands of her career, Takahashi has stated that she tries to maintain a balanced lifestyle, taking time to relax and recharge when needed. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to create engaging, memorable stories have made her a beloved figure in the manga industry and beyond. Even as she maintains a relatively low profile in her personal life, Rumiko Takahashi's legacy as one of the most successful and influential female manga artists cannot be overstated. In a male-dominated industry, Takahashi has consistently broken barriers and shattered expectations, proving that women can create beloved, long-running series that resonate with audiences of all ages and genders. Her success has paved the way for future generations of female manga artists, inspiring them to pursue their dreams and tell their own unique stories. Takahashi's influence extends beyond the manga industry, as she has become a cultural icon and a role model for aspiring artists and storytellers around the world. The global popularity of Takahashi's works is a testament to her ability to create stories and characters that transcend cultural boundaries. Her manga series have been translated into multiple languages and published in numerous countries, finding enthusiastic audiences in North America, Europe, Asia, and beyond. The universal themes of love, friendship, and personal growth that permeate her works have resonated with readers from diverse backgrounds, 
making her a truly international phenomenon. The widespread availability of her manga and anime adaptations has also helped to popularize these mediums outside of Japan, contributing to the global growth and appreciation of Japanese popular culture. Takahashi's influence on the manga and anime industry is immeasurable. Her innovative storytelling techniques, memorable characters, and iconic art style have inspired countless artists and creators, both in Japan and abroad. Many successful manga artists and animators cite Takahashi as a major influence on their work, and her impact can be seen in the countless series that have followed in her footsteps. Takahashi's ability to blend genres, subvert expectations, and create compelling multifaceted characters has helped to shape the evolution of manga and anime, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in these mediums. Her groundbreaking series have set the standard for excellence in their respective genres and continue to be studied and celebrated by fans and scholars alike. As the manga and anime industry continues to grow and evolve, Rumiko Takahashi's legacy remains a constant source of inspiration and admiration, cementing her status as a true pioneer and legend in the world of Japanese popular culture.